Yo, episode 234. See you later. Bye. Oh, 234. Also making a dedication in 2022 to work on my Portuguese. Okay. 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 You feel me? I'm coming, dog. I'm coming at Portuguese. Caesar's like, I'm going to work on my Portuguese. I'm going to continue bleaching for 2022. Mm-hmm. Yes. Skin and hair. A thousand. Um, episode 234. This is going to be the last episode of 2021. Um, we really got nothing much prepared. We already did the music awards. If you already checked that out. Um, if you didn't go look back, the We Made It Music Movies and Television Awards. They were a lot of fun. Go follow yeah. us on go follow us on Twitter. Also follow We Made It Seas on YouTube. I'm sure he's got some big things coming for 2022. Yeah. yeah. And if if you wanna and if you you know like to watch Twitch after 8 p.m. and have a good time, pull up to the Twitch too. You know, that late night Twitch be cracking on low. Uh if I'm there. Um, but um don't follow C's on Twitch. He's the most inconsistent uh 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 streamer ever, but follow him on YouTube. We yeah, please it. do because yeah. I'm working on a big. It's a long video coming. It's a long one. Sure, um, I believe it when I see it. Okay, then you'll see it. Yeah, and then I'll believe it. <laughs> cool. Then you'll give me the view. I'm down. Yes, many views. Um, but yeah, we got really nothing much prepared. Just want to tap in. You know, what I mean, we still haven't missed a week since May 2017. Some of y'all wasn't even born yet. Uh, what are you talking about? Who has not? Who do we have as a fan that's four years old? <laughs> um, I mean, who that's knows? crazy. We a five year, we five gonna, year old. We're going to be a five year old in five months or so. Um, that will be great if your attack just your cat just attacks you right now. I literally has in, in two years she's never even. I really hope I, I want her to do it. I'll give her a dollar <laughs> if she does it. I don't know what's good. There's a lot of animals here and it makes me uncomfortable. But go yeah, ahead. exactly. Um, but yeah, we don't really have much prepared, as I've said. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about the year. You know, um, just who you want to give some props to in 2021. I have a, a little bit of a list, not a list, but I, I have some people I want to give some props to. Um, and I, and hopefully uh, Caesar does too. Um, props. Yeah. I mean, I was going to give props to somebody, but I was like, oh, Caesar's probably going to talk about this person because this person was in Miami looking for his cousin. <laughs> How did you know? Why do you? So I get yelled at for doing this on award show. You just did it right now. No, I didn't. And it's not even a, I don't even make a scene or a violation over it. These are I, nobody knows what I'm it. talking about. Nobody Look. knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, but the same same thing. They do know. No, they don't. Dude, dog, you're funny though. It feels <laughs> like a whole uproar. Ahead, they don't bro. know nothing about the Spurs it's legend. Because I bleach, you treat me different. <laughs> they don't know nothing about the Spurs legend Del Negro. They don't know about him. <laughs> Vinny Del Negro. <laughs> That's such but, a gangster drop. You did almost <laughs> die when you said that. That was a bar. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just gonna give some props to some people, and um, I'm gonna let. And, and this is gonna be a very short episode. Um, and sees who you want to give some props to, dog. 2021. I, I think it goes without being said after Bam revealed it. Uh, the first person, absolutely a thousand percent, is Vinny, Vinny, Vinny Jr. Not, not <laughs> Vinny Del Negro, not Vinny Del Negro, famous basketball legend, Vinicius Edgimundo Gifisu da Silva Souza Jr. He's a baller. Um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna. You know, name- I'm going to name this episode Vinny Del Negro. Okay, I mean, whatever. It'd probably most viewed just like Neymar's black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming off of me and Bam having arguments in the past about, um, you know, his shooting ability and stuff oh. like that. I'm not, I'm not attacking him. I'm attacking him. I'm saying we had arguments about it. No, we I'm have saying, it. No, we have it. Can I, can I finish? Yes. We disagreed in the past. I thought he could. You said he can't shoot. I used to argue with you about it. That, can I finish? Then I agreed with you that he doesn't have a powerful foot. We you're used to argue you're about all it. over the place. You're all and over the place. Bam primarily saying he can't shoot for real. And you said you had your eye on him. <laughs> then Vinny decided to show that he can. I'm talking. It's my turn. You can talk your turn. Um, then he showed that he has the ability. He, you, he showed that he did, it was something that he worked on over the summer. You know, while people like Hazard were eating donuts and getting vaccines, uh, Vinicius was putting in work, putting in work, and it translated in his game. One thing from me and Bam can both absolutely agree from day one. Hey, he's been, Vinny's always been a hard worker up and down the field. And a lot of wingers don't do that. A lot of wingers 
um, commit to one side of the field. He goes it about himself. And I think that he established that left side of the field is probably the best in the world. Now, not many teams can say that that fullback left wing combo is better than the Real Madrid one with ben- Mendy and, 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 and uh, uh, Vinicius. That's the best in the world. They interlock great. They switch off. And I think that that stardom, I think it's 12, is it 12 goals and four assists this season? I think that's what he has in all comps. Phenomenal year, totally his whole career, Real Madrid already in the first half of the season. Phenomenal job by him. That is the M- uh, that is the MVP for the year for me right there is definitely Vinicius. A big major props to him and uh, what he's done with this year. Now Real Madrid is comfortably a top La Liga as a result of his performance and Benzema, of course, but yeah, as a result of, as a result of his performance. So you get okay. Well, let me just go back here because Caesar is a capper and and uh, a, a overall weirdo. Uh, <laughs> Second I, one, yeah, but okay. I never said that Vinicius Jr. can't shoot. I said he does not have a powerful shot, and that's true. That's, I don't, that, I, I that, don't know how how strong are you feeling about that statement. After you seen that shot that he met, got that go outside the box, that's just because he just whipped his leg at it. It wasn't like it was. Look, he just look. you're just, kind of shooting right here, dog. <laughs> that's not a compliment. Yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that he's. I, I think he's. You know, I actually argued that you could put him over Mbappe in some in some respects, okay. just because he's played with more pressure. Not that he's like. I mean, obviously Mbappe scored all these goals and stuff, but like. You know, and uh, Vinicius Jr. has a lot more pressure playing for Real Madrid, uh, as opposed to like Monaco and PSG. So I love, you know, you, I mean, obviously you're kind of joking. Obviously, I love Vinicius Jr. and I loved him since day one. I remember, you know, his first times on the field and being like, after literally, after like, 10 minutes being like, this guy is so much better than Gareth Bale. Like, what are we doing? We here? literally, <laughs> literally, we've, I watched like, dashes of him before and i watched him on a route pitch where it mattered and i was like this guy's already better than than, than, than bale like what are we yeah, doing here like, like there's no I don't stay send him down to be this castillo I'm like we're wasting our time bring him back up bring him back yeah. we don't need him down there stop it yeah like literally like he, it took 10 minutes I'm like this guy's so much better than gareth bale like get bale out of here <laughs> <laughs> bale was so bad tottenham didn't want him back like they loaned him out and they were like hey, you know what we're good we were um, like <laughs> But Tottenham was like, we can't use you in the Europa Conference League. Um, but um, no, I, I love Vinicius Jr. I feel like he has the potential to be one of the big stars. Sat, like, I don't know if he'll ever be like, you know, a 25 goal scorer. And that would be the thing. Sadly, like that would be, be the 25 thing. 25 this year. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't be shocked, but like, yeah. I don't know. Um, if he does get to that level, then like they're going to start talking about him as you know best in the world types categories. Um, but if he doesn't start getting to like if he doesn't consistently get like 20 plus, sadly, they're gonna not look at what he does on the pitch as much and put him up there like that. I, I can see him being like a peak 2010 guy. Maybe like a, a to, like at like like that's phenomenal to me. Like 20, 2010 is phenomenal. Me and Bam have argued in the past, like a winger give you 15 goals. That's amazing. Like that's, you, incre- you that's incredible. Crazy year, yeah. But I think Real Madrid, especially if the uh, the future comes when they get like you know Mbappe and stuff like that, I think that and then the Benzema might still be here. I think that'll be a little more tough for him to do next year. So this is a good year for him to just kind of go all out, like um just work on it, keep grinding and I can see him being like a 2010 guy. And I think that's phenomenal play. Like that's kind of like what you, that's kind of like almost all with all the injuries, like name or ish numbers. It always gives you like 10 assists and he gives you 20 plus goals. And that's phenomenal in my opinion, especially for a winger. That's what you want. You want the assists with it too. Um, I know I just read that today. He passed uh second of all time in Real Madrid for appearances under the age of 21. Wow. Um, second, which is crazy. The gap because like it, he didn't, Raul was number one and Raul had like 215 at like 19 or some stupid number, some, some slavery number he had. That's just insane. And, and that's, that's cause he like grew up down the street. Yeah. He's like grew up down the street and he's been playing since he was like 14, probably for real. Yeah, but, exactly. um, but uh, anyways, yeah. So Vinicius second all time in appearances, been in excellent health. Good for him. Hopefully COVID doesn't hit him too hard. 
Um, I know him. Hopefully he's good to go. And I know they won't be here this weekend. I'll be like his first like official missed game. I think they said like 11 months or something like that, so just, which is nuts. Like you went through a pandemic playing all game, just like Kenyaki. So um, good on Vinicius. And uh, I think he definitely deserved it. Yeah, no, amazing player. And I'm so excited for the, for his career. And yeah, I mean, you could already like, do you even need Mbappe? I mean, I don't know. Um, okay. Here's, here's who I want to give props to in episode 234, last one of the year, uh, recording December 29th. I want to give props to over 30 center forwards, namely Robert Lewandowski at 33 and Benzema at 34. Who knew that Lewandowski, like they talk about Benzema, like, oh, he's slowing down. Lewandowski's 33. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to be 34 in August. Him and Benzema are going to be the same age in August. And they never talk about Lewandowski being old. Never. (laughs) But uh, Lewandowski and Benzema really out here. I think that like these two are kind of like holding on to like the number nine position. Like, Right now, when I was thinking about like center forwards in the world, like that are big, a lot of them have negative press surrounding them currently. Yeah. Like at one point, Harry Kane was a golden boy. Now he's kind of like they have some negative press around that like Harry Kane these days. Um, even Lukaku, like since he's moved to Chelsea, like I mean, obviously, it's a you know he's a big name and it's a big club. So it's like, if you don't score for two weeks, they're like, Oh my God. And then you score and they're like, Oh, he's back. But it hasn't been like the same as the inter Milan Lukaku. Um, a Bomi Yang is crashing out. Um, oh, what's his name? Um, the racism free my dog. A boob. Uh, uh, Murata at one point, you know, they were talking about him. That's been dead. Uh, Luis Suarez is like literally running on on his like ankle bones. Another honorable mention, thirty plus, or Jekyll who has like ten goals in Inter Milan this season. So that's another another center forward that's like thirty plus to doing pretty decent yeah. too. But I yeah, mean, big so, shout out to the center forwards that are older. Yeah, I mean, but like right now, it's like Lewandowski and Benzema are like elite, like top oh yeah, goal scorers mm-hmm. and like balling out in their leagues. Mm-hmm. And but like yeah, um, even like in Yaki Williams, who I think is incredible, like he can't get no like shine outside of you know one city in uh Spain. There's a few center forwards that have positive, you know, around them. You got Erling Holland, of course. Um, that Vlahovic guy in Fiorentina. I don't know how good he is. Everybody I, talks about all the time. Who is that? I, I watched him play a little bit. I don't know how good he is, like for real. I'd have to watch him play. Um, and then I don't know how good he's going to be outside of Italy. Uh, you got Jonathan David, who like, like I like him. I like watching him play for Lille. I don't know how good he'll be like somewhere else, really. Because I'm like, damn dog, are you gonna slim up or what? <laughs> I like that he's two footed. I like watching. Oh yeah, he's he's, two feet. A, he's a center four. Like he's gonna he got two feet. Like it's nothing. I, uh, I, he might even be better when he's thirty plus too. It might just kind of fill in that frame at thirty plus. You never know, dog. <laughs> it's like a, a, a fire plug. Him really said, you know, you're gonna lose a little weight. <laughs> um, and also Latoro Martinez, um, another really good player. Is, isn't he leading Italy? I think in goals right now. No, he's not. The Vlahovic guy is. Um, oh, yeah. What does he have? Like 20 something? No, no, no. Not that much. Like 14. Because okay, that guy always tweets about him. That other day. Yeah. Um, but I got to get in. And honestly, like Lewandowski, like, you know, I don't really care about him that much as a player. I think he's a phenomenal player. I don't really care about him that much. I can't really get over him uh, complaining about not winning the scoring title that year when Aubameyang run, uh, won it and he was complaining to his about his teammates i, I oh, yeah, can't he won that one pass or whatever or something like that. he like, was like he was like they weren't passing to me enough and i'm like what um but consistently it's the mindset though that's a, that, that's how they gotta be i guess um consistently scoring goals and like putting byron on his back and you know byron byron is an elite team because of him really I, without him they're not going to be as good uh, like not even close, maybe because I remember when they played PSG in Champions League <clears throat> over those two legs when Lewandowski was hurt, and 
they they just couldn't kind of get over the hump with Chupamoteng. But like they were doing it and they almost got it. But like if you have Lewandowski, you're going to score. Um, yeah. And I think that what's really interesting, too, I think that Benzema and Lewandowski are interchangeable, too. Like I think that they would both perform admirably in both teams. Like I think oh yeah, that sure. if you put Lewa on, on mm-hmm. Real Madrid and Benzema, they, they would probably have similar numbers again. Like they, they're, yeah. they're, their games are that kind of well rounded. And elite. Yeah. they play a little bit differently. I feel like Lewandowski a little bit, yeah. is a, a bit more traditional. Um, but Benzema's I mean, uh, definitely like all over the place. Yeah, like, he, yeah. He's all over the place. Um, but you know, and then Benzema, this, these past couple seasons, like really since Ronaldo left, um, just being like the, I feel like the consummate professional and like the, the really just like a veteran presence, um, uh, never complains. Um, and is like very consistent and you can rely on him in big moments and like to get goals that like are amazing. Dude, some of these goals he gets, I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, like incredible goals. Um, <laughs> and yeah, like obviously Real Madrid hasn't had the same amount of success since Ronaldo left, but they're not over here like languishing like Barcelona is mm-hmm. since uh, Messi left because they have mm-hmm. somebody like Benzema who's not like who doesn't look like he's running on his kneecaps. Uh, like, yeah, Real Madrid had like a one kind of drop off year, and then that ever since then they you know started really fighting at least being the title contentious since then. Barcelona though, no, it's been it's been it's well, I mean since Messi left, yeah, they're still eighth place, and um, and that was long, yeah, since Messi left, yeah. So yeah, like, and even gotta, when other people started leaving, started it was rough a few times too for them. Yeah, like you got to give Benzema a lot of credit, um, because. He's really carrying that team in a lot mm-hmm. of ways and, you know, being their top goal scorer. I mean, kind of obviously who else is going to be scoring them goals, but like there was a point in time where they talked about Gareth Bale, like he's going to be the guy. They were talking about at the beginning of the season when he played his first game, I forgot what they game. I think it was against Deportivo or something like that. I forgot who they played. I, I remember I watched that game where it was the first game of the season. They said, you know, this is going to bail's back and it's his opportunity to show that he can shine. I remember that. And they were saying tweets like he looks so happy on the pitch. Oh, it's good to see him out there. And all me and Bam talked about is when he shot the ball, hit it, missed it on one side of the, the goal and shot the other side of the goal didn't even hit it on target. Like I was like, it's just like, what are we doing here? We know what it is already. Stop. Yeah. The man's pace is the same as Bam CDM right now. They both got the same speed. <laughs> um, also, like, you know, the, I feel like the center forward position is, like, dying out, kind of. A um, whole lot of wingers out in the world. Yeah, like, Lukaku's 28, Harry Kane's 28. You know, you know I, what? I'm going to say no to that. Well, okay, but who's, like, the young center forwards? You got Holland, Holland. And, and Vlahovic. Who else yeah. is, like... Like the young center forwards, Lataro's well, got, a center forward too. Yeah, Laturo La and like, uh, I, and like, and like Jonathan David. Like, I don't. I, I, who well, else? You don't, who else? You don't want to give a damn. I can see. Is it, but shout out Canada. He gets a pass forever. <laughs> um, I'll say that I think it's pretty consistent in that way because every single time there's there's never really an obscene amount of center forwards that are just balling like crazy. Like, especially with I agree that. Now teams are kind of moving away from that system of even four three threes. Like they, they do like adapted ones and like weird like false nines, like Liverpool running Jota in the middle. Like it's very goofy. Um, but I think that there's still a lot of center forward talent out there. Like, there's a, like those guys are just saying four okay, five guys is pretty dudes. good. And those that's, are like um, except three. for one of them, one of the three, they're pretty much elite a, guys, though. That's three and a possible, and we don't even know about Vlahovic. Yeah, that's true. I don't know anything about that, man. <laughs> like I don't like I I like Jonathan David, but like I I don't know like at a different club at a bigger club I don't know, you know what I mean? I think like, he needs like two years at Lille. He's leaving this this summer for who? I don't know. Like his oh, agent said, he, he's leaving. Man, you know, you stay, dog. You should. Oh, we should go. To, if if Holly, you should go to Dortmund. That'd be nice. His, his agent said he's leaving. That's a mistake. No. He don't care. He was like, you got to cash out a Canadian right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dog, you never know. Dog, you gotta let him stand of the year. He'd be so good after two years in France. Yeah, I mean, he came from Belgium. So well, like, why does Lille only be having good strikers for one year? It's the weirdest I forgot, thing. I forgot about Victor Osiman. Yeah, Osiman, the, the the prodigy, right? Better than Mbappe, the highly highest rated striker in the world. My the homie, you know, big Niger, but um big Niger energy right there. But no, he's he's extremely talented. I'll uh, put Osiman over uh, Jonathan David. 
Okay, I'll put Osimhen over this this Valhalla dude. I never seen. <laughs> you never watched him play, dude. Okay, but I've seen Osimhen play though. Yeah, but you never watched Vlahovic play. Yeah, but I'm not giving him that. I'm not giving him just because of what some dude told me. No, I'm saying how you I'm gonna, gonna give over? the person I've seen play over the guy I haven't seen play. <laughs> no, it don't He's work still top like five that. though. <laughs> it don't work like that. It does work like that. See, I'm gonna assume you're better unless otherwise. Is that what I gotta do? Okay, well, all right. No, I'm saying no. You just don't compare him to somebody you've never seen. Yeah, well, see me is up there then. That's my anyway, dog, Big Niger, uh, dog. Anyway, I mean, hey, Afcon's coming up. Feel me? Uh, in like it's January, I, I think January 11th is the first match. Did you see that? Uh, uh, reporter asked Holler, like, are you gonna go? Are you gonna stay instead of going to Afcon? <laughs> who asked who? This reporter for a Dutch reporter who, who asked has? Holler, Sebastian Holler plays for Ivory Coast. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. The one who was like, he's like leading Champions League in goals right now. Yeah, yeah. But he's not, you know, he's like 28 or 27. But uh, he's, uh, he was asked by a reporter, oh, are you going to forego going to AFCON and just stay with the team in January? And he was like, what? No, he's like, I bet, he's like, I bet if I played for, for, for Netherlands, you wouldn't ask me to stay for Euros though. You, you would ask me to stay instead of go to Euros, huh? But I played for AFCON. You're like, oh, maybe I should just stay here in January instead of going to AFCON. <laughs> well, I mean, Euros is not during the season, though, but... No, I know, but still, like, come on, dog. Caesar, no! Whoa, <laughs> bam! <gasps> I, I mean, it's a legitimate question, dude. Like, it's I don't not know. a legitimate question. It is. It is. Brazilians it's... leave for Copa America and leave for tournaments and leave for qualifiers. What are you talking about? Caesar, Caesar, this is... No. <laughs> I see you, dog. We on to you. The, the 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 people are on to you. Okay. Hopefully, maybe you need to go. Uh, you know. Yeah. No. No. Let's move on before we lose more. We'll lose our final viewer who's five years old. Let's go, dog. Either his response more. don't make no sense. Euros is in the summer, dude. It's not in January during nah, the dog. season. No, dog. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> what do you think? Euros is in October. <laughs> Anyway, soccer players aren't that smart. But um, <laughs> Caesar just want to fake be pro black, even though he's bleaching. Um, <laughs> yesterday, Caesar was out here talking about uh, t- uh, Rob Ford being the president of AFCON. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, dog. You can't just start gaslighting me after your statement. But uh, <laughs> RP Rob Ford forever, real legendary streets. <laughs> Anyway, that's episode 234. We didn't want to keep y'all long. We just had to... Uh, oh, sick. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Um, uh, we didn't want to keep y'all long, but you know what I'm saying? It's the last episode of 2021. It's been a, it's been a good year for uh, soccer. Um, it was very whack, messy one, Ballon d'Or, but um, we had to give the real props to Vinicius Jr. coming into his own and the over 30 number nines, Lewandowski, Benzema, not Zlatan. Um, but yeah, Next year is going to be still cracking, obviously. Hoping to do, um, you know what I want to do more of next year is more what? more game recaps. Yeah, I do miss those. Yeah. You know, and sometimes the league games just be boring. It's like, oh, who cares? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it just sucks because I like it's so hard to watch EPL now, too. It's like annoying. It's like all the games are on Peacock. Yeah, but the worst for me is I, I, uh, I, can't i was like i haven't seen an elite game in forever because it's like on on uh paramount, paramount plus i'm like that's just weird <laughs> and also the italy league sucks now they lost everybody it's really bad you were you were out here i was shocked when i saw how many players were in brazil i didn't even know these guys were in brazil like douglas costa well you know like damn i should have watched brazilian league then <laughs> kind of got some ballers down there <laughs> will you uh whatever happened to uh David Luiz plays for Flamengo. All no, the no, dudes is in Brazil. Whatever happened to uh, the dark skinned dude from Chelsea? Which one? The the Brazilian dark skinned dude. I forgot his name. Um, the midfielder. Kennedy? No, no, the midfielder. You remember what Martez said about him? Oh, uh, you're talking about R- Ramirez. Yes, yes, <laughs> Ramirez. Damn, I don't know, dog. I'm still shocked, by the way, that uh, Oscar is like 29. That shit is uh, insane. I've never seen a man like we attribute to being just done for so early. I mean, R- Ramirez is only 34. Okay, but like literally, can we? Uh, is he retired? I, I don't know if he's on Palmeiras still or not, but. Oh, he part. Yeah, I guess they parted ways with the team November 2020 with Palmeiras. Mm. He probably anti vaxxer. Um, <laughs> 
he gave me that vibe. He was kind of wild. He came from Joinville. Um, <laughs> Whatever you want, Champions League. Um, he did. Uh, that's more than Zlatan did. Anyway, uh, episode 234, 15 more to uh, 250, and then I'm quitting. I don't know about Caesar. Um, Can we do yeah. five years? Who? 250 is the end? Yeah, or five years. Maybe five years. I'd be like, you know what, dude? I'm soccered out for life. <laughs> start watching WWE. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start doing WWE recaps. WWE. <laughs> I bet we'll get way more views. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? It's huge. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, holler. Sebastian.